guys, Larissa with Becozy.net is here. Today I would like to show you how to make this cat bed. This cat bed is made with our felted merino in a white color. And this is our office kitty uh, posing for you, showing how your kitty or a small dog can use this cat bed. Uh, we will be using our felted merino wool. Felted merino was uh, felted in a special way to make it uh, thinner, but very strong and durable. See, you cannot uh, break it. It's very strong and beautiful, and it can also be washed. So this is a great part about felted merino. It's perfect for uh, making blankets, rugs, pillows and cat beds as we will be doing it today. So the cat bed will be hand knitted. Uh, I usually uh, show how to hand crochet cat bed. This one will be hand knitted. So it looks like a basket and you can also use this uh, as a basket. So you can put some yarn inside and it will be like a little storage basket for you. Let me put it here. There you go, like that. So it looks really cute. Uh, it will take you probably 30 minutes uh, to make it. And again, it could be a cat bed or a, uh, a basket for storage of anything, including your yarn. So if you're ready, you will need two pounds of uh, felted merino and you can find it at becozy.com or becozy.net both will go the same website and if you're ready let's get started okay guys so let's get started first of all we will need to uh, keep uh, the tail about 12 15 inches like that before we will make a loop that tail will be used for connecting the bottom of the bed so now we will create a loop by placing working yarn on the top of the tail now insert your left hand inside grab working yarn and pull it uh, through now pull until you have this knot and this is your first stitch to make the stitch smaller we just pull working yarn down like that and we will keep the stitch about two inches what we're doing next we insert our hand uh, grab working yarn and pull it out this is our second stitch you see i'm uh, keeping them approximately the same size now i'm moving my hand i'm holding the bottom of the second stitch and you can see the working yarn through grab that working yarn and pull it out we now have three stitches and then i will keep doing the same way by moving my hand holding the bottom of the stitch and pulling out the next one when you're doing it this way you are making all stitches uh, about the same size and we will be casting on 15 stitches for the small to medium size cat bed uh, this cat bed will be for a cat about uh, up to nine ten pounds so now when we have a chain we need to count how many stitches we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three and two more will make us to 15. so here we are guys we have a chain of 15 stitches so what we are doing next we will connect this chain into a circle put the uh, tail in the middle that you would see it here we are so what we are doing now we will insert this tail inside the last stitch not at the top of the stitch but at the bottom of it so we're basically going inside the previous stitch so when you insert it you pull it out and here we are we connected our circle the tail is here this is our working yarn what we're doing now we will start knitting in a circle using this back sides of the stitch the stitch is sitting here it's already a stitch we're inserting hand uh, in the next stitch but but uh, back part uh, pull working yarn and pull it through like that the next stitch insert your hand grab working yarn and pull it out 
and now keep doing this way until you are around the whole circle how you will know because we have that tail that will show us where the circle started so we are knitting all the way around and we should have 15 stitches guys so here is our tail see this is our tail and it shows us where we started tail is sitting inside uh, until we're ready to connect the bottom so now we'll make one more row around uh, try to keep stitches uh, on a little bit like medium tight uh, side not to loose not too uh, tight and then we will fold this knitting project uh, to make it a little bit easier to knit so let's go let's go all the way around make sure that stitches are not twisting guys see it, it should be open stitch not twisting left or right because then it will be looking completely different from other stitches so here we are our tail this is the last stitch so what are we doing now we are folding this project into like this and we will keep knitting why we're doing it this way because this way your stitches will be closer to each other tail can go on the bottom to cut and not to be in your way and when you're done with this row you're just refolding it on another side and keep knitting so if you follow my videos you know that this is basically how i am knitting my round pillow and so this is the same beginning the uh, end will be a little bit different so we will be knitting this way for five rows and then i will come back and i will show you what to do next here before i go so we have now uh, one two three four so we need one more row one two three so we need two more rows uh, counting rows you're counting them by this chain so one two three so in row number four and we need five before we proceed to the next step okay so here we are we have five rows guys one two three four five this is our tail it shows where we started uh, so this one was here we started here one two three four five okay so what are we doing next we will be connecting our bottom so place the yarn in front of you with the bottom up now you have this tail and this tail will go in every stitch this uh, top part of the stitch from inside out so insert your stitch insert your uh, tail in a stitch like that and pull it then go again from inside out and then pull them to connect the opening okay so here we are we have a few stitches one and two here can be a kind of tricky so make sure to go into the last stitch and then we will need to go into the those two stitches that we already uh, used see one and two this stitch will go underneath uh, because this way it will look like a beautiful flower on the bottom okay so two more stitches see like that and now we will connect it pull it and connect it tight here we are look how beautiful this bottom is so now the tail goes inside in the middle and this is the bottom of our bed look how beautiful it is turn on another side and now we can uh, separate this tail in two go underneath any uh, stitch here and then make a knot and then we can cut this tail 
and we can weave in this two little tails it just hiding them uh, it's not as easy because it's pretty tight knitting and felted merino is pretty uh, strong yarn <coughs> so here we are this is the bottom uh, of the cat bed inside so what are we doing next we will now finish or cast off this uh, end okay so what we're doing two stitches together grab working yarn pull it out two stitches together grab working yarn pull it out make sure to make the stitches pretty big because it's a circle and it uh, needs some yarn to be uh, flat like that so this beautiful pattern can be used for a beautiful seat cushion see like that it's very uh, beautiful looking or you can make a rug if you uh, keep knitting you will uh, need a little bit more stitches so you will need to increase but that's the uh, beginning of the rug basically so let's see we're almost there see I'm making stitches pretty big and like that here's the last one <coughs> so here we are here we are see we use the last stitch and we have this kind of hole here so what we will do we will go inside uh, only using this previous stitch and make extra stitch and then knit it together okay this way we will connect it nicely let me show you one more time so when we're here at the end we have this hole so you're going inside this previous stitch and grab working yarn make another uh, stitch and then knit them together this is the base of our cat bed what we're doing now we're turning it on another side like that here we are and here we will start pulling out our uh, walls you see the stitches all the way around so over here we will be using the back side of the stitch again insert your hand grab working yarn pull it out and leave it like that because this will be our uh, stitch to knit and then do the same way insert your hand grab working yarn pull it out so we are literally pulling out a row to knit for the cat uh, bed wall so when we go through the whole circle like that we will keep knitting to for a few more rows to make a beautiful wall so here we are see that's how it will look like we have uh, we started this wall and now we will just keep knitting it all those stitches that we pulled out try to knit them close to each other that the holes between yarn would not be too big here we are and we have our yarn ending here so i will show you how i am connecting felted merino wool so this is the end uh, let's me grab my second skein and connect it what i'm doing uh connecting it i am cutting <coughs> the tail on the angle like that and then the same with the other cut it on an angle what you do next you are fluffing out this ends both ends see you're spreading them around you're fluffing them out like this so this is our first end and this is our second we're doing exactly the same so we're just spreading the wool like that and making it fluffy here we are so 
Now, I will be using a felting mat and felting needle. You can find them at uh, Bikozi.net. I'm placing uh, one end over here, and then I'm placing the second end on the top. Now we will be felting these two uh, ends together by poking the yarn with this needle. Just be careful when you're doing it because this needle is usually really, really sharp. If you poke your finger, it will bleed. So try to keep your fingers away. Here we are. Uh, one side, now pull it, and now do the same on the second side like that. Now, pull it, take it out, and then I'm usually rolling it like that, rolling it together. And then where the connection, uh, the side of the yarn is, that's what we will be felting together again. Here you go. Just poking the yarn, this connection side, left and right. And this way, the yarn will be nicely felted together or connected. Here we are. So now, when yarn is connected, we will keep knitting our cat bed. So we keep knitting, guys, these stitches. Uh, let me show you maybe on the side like that. See, we have all the stitching. With stitches, we're just making simple knitting stitch to make the wall see now let's turn and keep knitting so again all together you will need to make five rows so we made five rows uh, for the bottom and now we will be knitting the wall making uh, about four or five let's do five rows and this way the uh, wall will be formed and then we will cast off or finish it so i will make two more rows and then i will come back and i will show you what to do next okay guys so we have four rows here i said five but i looked and uh four rows will be better so four rows one two three four and now we're ready to cast off so we're taking two stitches together like that and then grabbing working yarn and pull it through now we are getting two together and pulling working yarn through and we will be doing this way uh, all the way around the bed this way we will cast off try to make uh, stitches a, uh, a bit on the looser side not too loose but not too tight because this way the top of the cat bed will look nicely so uh, the same way when we are back to the end of the stitches there will be an opening over here this is our last two stitches we're knitting them together the same way see guys like it was here the same way here we have a kind of like a opening and a hole here so what we're doing we are inserting hand inside uh, underneath actually these two stitches not here because uh, it will uh, give us this hole but over here and then grab working yarn, pull it out, and then knit these two together. So here we are. We finished our casting off. What we're doing now, we will insert our hand inside the next stitch and pull uh, the working yarn like that. Now we will cut the yarn. So pull this working yarn through and then pull it through this stitch here we are we just connected our uh, cat bed top and now this stitch is going inside the next stitch uh, sorry and un underneath the next stitch to hide it and then inside the bed you can make it a little bit shorter and then you can 
spread it and I usually use the felting mat again and then you can go uh, around the stitch here any stitch and then you can felt it this way it will be holding very nicely it will not unfold and when your cat will not take it out when they are using the bed just be careful with your fingers because it's very very sharp like that here we are so now it's tucked in nicely like that see over here you cannot really see it and this is our bad guy so you will need to spread it a little bit to give it a shape so this is how it looks from the top and this is how it looks from the side this will be the bottom so this is the side of the bed and this is the beautiful bottom here we are so this is our bed and your cat will love to use it and you can find felted merina uh, we have uh, six colors in stock you can find it at becausey.net Stay warm and be cozy.